Okay, so I have a stock PlayStation 4 that is just running 11.0. What we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and we're going to run the brand new Gold In that Sistro just released that works on version number 11. And so here's a summary of what this is. So Gold In, which is the homebrew enabler, which allows you to run homebrew applications and then games and much, much more is now available for PlayStation 4s running on 11.0. Now, if you are on 9.03 to 11, then this is exactly what you've been waiting for, meaning that those people on those software firmware versions have been unable to do anything with those PlayStation 4s for the last couple of years. Now, if you are on version 9.00, you absolutely should not update. And the reason that I say that is because on 9.00, you don't really get any benefits by going to PS4 11.0. There isn't any additional games that's available. There isn't any additional homebrew that's available. So if you are on that 9.00 or lower, obviously, I would not update. This is a tethered jailbreak, which means you've got to run it each and every time your PlayStation 4 restarts. Okay, so what do you need? Okay, so first off, if you're on PS4 11.0 right now, then you don't need to do anything. That is exactly what this tutorial is going to cover. Now, if you are on anything between 9.03 all the way up to just 11, then I would absolutely recommend that you just go ahead and update that system to firmware version 11. So you can simply come to this website and then go to firmware 11 and then just download it from one of these like mega links or this archive.org file. Next, go ahead and insert a USB key. And from there, just make sure your disk is formatted in the XFAT format. And then you're going to need to create a folder called PS4 and then update and then PS4 update.pub. Next up, you're going to want to have Python installed. So if you just go back to the Python site here, you're going to click on download Python and then just go ahead and install that for Windows. The next tool that you will need to install is going to be NPCAP. So just come right over here and press download and then get that installed. Next for the GUI, I am using this one that was by Modded Warfare. So I definitely think this is probably the best one that is out right now. So you can just come right here and you can download this. Now you can obviously do all of this through the command line and I have a video for that, but I'm trying to make this a little bit more user friendly. And then the very last thing that you're going to need is you're going to need to come to this Gold Hen site right here. Scroll down just a little bit and then where it says assets, you're going to want to download this 7z file just right here. So go ahead and do all of that and then come back to the video. Okay, so I'm setting right here at 8.03. I'm going to go ahead and take this all the way up to version number 11. So if you have the USB drive inserted into your PlayStation 4, it will find it even if you're in an offline scenario, which I am right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and we're going to go back one more time again. And now we're going to go up just a little bit and we're going to go to system software update. And right there it is. There is version number 11. So we're going to go ahead and press next here and we're going to press update. Okay, so it's preparing to install. Okay, and now going back into it, we should be on version number 11 here. And that is exactly where we are. We're on 11.0. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and prepare the PlayStation 4 to use the Ethernet port. Okay, and from here, I'm just going to go back a screen and go back again. And we're going to scroll back up here to the top. We're going to go to Network. And we're going to go to Set Up an Internet Connection. Again, make sure you have a cable between your PC and your PS4. Select use a LAN cable and we're going to select custom here. And for the IP address settings, we're going to use PPPOE. And then for the user ID and for the password, I'm just using the character G. So just put something in there and press next. For DNS will be automatic. For MTU will be automatic. For proxy server will be do not use. And at this point, just go ahead and press the circle button to go back. In just a second, we're going to do the test internet connection, but we've got a few things to set up on the PC first. 
Okay, so let's get the loader working on Windows. So the very first thing that I'm doing here is I am taking the GUI tool uh, modded warfare, and I'm just going to go ahead and extract that to a place on my hard disk. I'm going to take the same thing right here with gold hen and just go ahead and extract that out as well. Now, if you go into the GUI folder here, and you will see there is a couple of different things. There is the full compiled version where kind of everything's together. And then there is this one right here, which is the unpacked version. Now, just a moment ago, that executable just disappeared because my virus protection found it. Now, what you can do is take this unpacked version here, which is why I definitely recommended installing Python. And you can go into the unpacked version, unpacked, and then you can run this tool right here. So we'll just go ahead and launch that. And let's take a look at Gold Hen. We can see right here is the stage two file. So if we go ahead and go into the stage two folder, we can see again 9.0 and then 11.0 is supported. To specify the stage two payload for 11, we can just simply drag that right into here and that is all set up. Now, by default on Windows, it will pick Ethernet. And then here is the version number. So what we need to do now is we need to copy over GoldHen to a USB drive. So let's go back to GoldHen, and you'll find a GoldHen.bin file. Just take that and drag and drop that onto the USB drive that you might have been using if you upgraded your system. And it'll look simply like goldhen.bin file. Go ahead and take that USB drive and insert that into your PlayStation 4 now. Now, back over on your PlayStation 4, let's go ahead and go to the test internet connection. And then we're going to go ahead and press run exploit. And right over here, you can see that it is now pinning to the CPU. And there we go. We got PPP owned. There it is, Gold Hen is now loaded on our 11.0 system. So very cool. So let's go ahead and let's scroll down here again. Let's go to system and I'm gonna go back over to system information. And right there it is, Gold Hen 2.4 B17 running on an 11.0 system. Very cool. Now, the very first thing that you're definitely gonna to want to do is to install stuff. So if you notice, if you scroll back up to the top, you will have Gold Hen listed up here. So if you do go into Gold Hen and you want to install things, just simply go to the debug settings up at the top, and then you'll see this right here, which is called Package Installer. Now, if you insert a USB drive that has a .pkg on it, and you press Package Installer, well, from here, you can actually go ahead and install that package. And if you're wondering where is the best place to kind of get that homebrew and to get those packages, it's absolutely right over here at PKG Zone. So you just simply press right here on download and then just copy that PKG that it creates onto your USB stick. Okay, so I do believe that that is enough to get you up and running and playing with this. One thing to note is, is that that USB stick that we put Gold Hen on, once you insert that in your PlayStation 4 and it runs one time, you don't need to keep this USB stick in the drive. Only if there's a new update to Gold Hen will you need to copy that back over to your USB drive and then put it back in your PS4 and then it will update it. Basically, Gold Hen stores that payload on the system itself, which is why the USB stick is only required at the very beginning. Anyway, I hope you got something out of this. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!